Hello. So uh, uh, today we will be uh, going to share a directory from a server through NFS to a client machine. Okay. So we have to install the NFS server to our host, and there will be a directory, and the directory will be shared through NFS to some remote host. So the server NFS server will be at server A and our client which will access the directory of that NFS server will be server B. So basically here's the question. So the question is let me zoom in a little bit. So the question is configure NFS server at server A share the directory slash shared through NFS server to server B mount the directory to slash from server A this is the directory that is that will be created at server B and this directory through this, this directory uh, server B will access the directory shared directory of the server A and it will use AutoFS to automatically do the mounting. Okay. So why use AutoFS? Well, because using AutoFS is efficient. Um, it automatically mounts the directories when it needs to be mounted, meaning when that there is a request to access the the, the mounted. Uh, you know, directory when there is an there is a request to access the directory it automatically mounts to uh, to serve the request okay so it is much more efficient and resource uh, resource efficient so uh, imagine that you have a server and the server has a lot of uh, you know NFS server mounted at different directories of that server so it constantly checks whether the uh, the NFS um, directories are alive or not, and it, it can be resource intensive. So AutoFS is a very smart solution against that problem. So yeah, we have to use AutoFS to mount the shared uh, directory of that NFS server to our client server. So first we configure the server NFS server, which is server A. And then we will configure our client machine, which is server B. So, server A is our NFS server, and our client machine is server B. Okay, fine. So, let's configure the server first. So, to configure the server, we have to basically do two things install. We have to basically install one thing and just configure a couple of things. So what we have to install is we have to install this NFS utils package. That's pretty much it. It will install all the NFS server related um, packages to the server. So let's do that. So dnf install NFS utils one. So there is a spelling sheet is isn't all so let's let me try again. Then I've installed NFS details Y. So there was a spelling mistake, so sorry for that. Okay. So we have installed the NFS server. That's pretty much it. We don't have to do anything else. Um we can you know run the NFS server right now, but let's do some do some configurations first and then we will uh you know run our NFS server but before running that server and doing the configuration let's give the proper permissions the firewall because our firewall is up and running so system ctl status firewall d this is to check the firewall so we just have to configure the firewall of the server we don't have to deal with we do not have to deal with the client side firewall why well because the client will access what is inside that 
serving NFS server, okay? So as the NFS server needs to permit the request from outside to inside, then the, this is why we have to just configure the firewall of the NFS server and we don't have to think about any, uh, you know, we don't have to deal with the client side uh, firewall, okay? So let's give proper, so you have to uh, give three service access, three service permissions. So we have to provide a mount D, RPC bind, and NFS. These three services we need to add, and then we will reload. So firewall CMD add service. So the name of the service is mount D. And don't forget to add permanent. Why permanent? Well, because we want uh, our uh, our firewall configuration uh, to survive the reboot. Because yeah, so we want it to survive the reboot. Okay, I already never mounted because I have done it before. So do the same with NFS, and do the same thing with RPC bind. Okay. So these three already we need to uh, you know add the service and then reload the firewall. So firewall cmd reload. So this will uh, refresh the configuration and you know uh, allow firewall to have proper service accesses. So uh, check the uh, firewall configuration. Firewall cmd list on. Um, so yeah, so mount the NFS and RPC find these services are added. Now our firewall configuration is done here. Now we will just uh, okay. So let's uh, let's make the directory. Okay. So this directory slash shared. This is the directory of the question. So we will make this directory and give proper permission to that directory. So mkdir mkdir slash shared so this directory is mentioned in our question here so this directory needs to be shared from server a to server b so we just made the directory so cd into that directory so shared and here let's make a file so let's make a demo file just for test so echo Hello from server A. Okay, so we will just write it to some random file. Name file. Okay, this will be enough. That's part. Great. <coughs> Let's give it some proper permission. Okay, so so that other user can access the user the same group. We will we won't deal with the grouping right now or other user we just simply share the file so just give it 775 which will also give it uh, execute permission uh, by the way execute permission is not necessary necessary to give but we are just giving it uh, you know for the sake of making the whole thing easier okay so ch mod r 775 slash shared oops shared so proper permission is given okay. now we have our file and inside this slash shared directory and we need to share it through nfs to the client machine server b so do the configuration okay nfs configuration File is very slash etc slash exports. Okay, so this file, so vi, so just open it up, then and it is inside the slash etc directory. So slash etc slash exports. So this file just edit. I just uh, you know I wrote it before, but you know what you can do is 
you can simply what you have to do is you have to simply <coughs> sh uh, uh, mention the directory that you want to share which is share and with whom you want to share okay so the the ip address of the sharing um client so ipa which will be server b so this also you can uh, mention server b directly if your machine knows the name of the host okay slash 24 and read write thing no no this is pretty much it so we are going to share the slash share directory to the server the machine the IP address of the machine is this one sorry oops so we have just edited the slash exports directory slash etc slash exports so this is all for uh, uh, you know everything we need to do in terms of configuring the NFS server, you just restart the server and enable it. So, system CTL enable NFS server. Now, that's it. Our NFS server configuration is done. So, we can check if we have properly shared the necessary directory with the show mount command yeah so this directory is shared to this host all right so now let's configure the client machine so to configure the client we need to install the nfs utils so dnf install nfs utils y so we have to install nfs utils as well as we have to install another package called auto fs so these two packages these two um, thing we need to install so writing y is con uh, optional uh, optional because it will you know prompt you with uh, whether you you want to con you know the confirmation with yes or no so you can bypass the confirmation um, command just by typing the dash y syntax okay so we have installed the packages for nfs utils we have installed for auto fs so what we need to do is we have to so we could have mounted the the directory just by using the nfs utils but we have decided to go with autofs this is why we have to install the packages for autofs and the directory the of that uh, client which is server b will be from server a so this directory we will use this directory to access the server a's directory which is slash shared so let's we don't really need to make the from a from server a directory we can just configure the uh, clients uh, auto fs uh, you know configuration file and it will it should be enough okay so the configuration file for auto fs is slash etc slash auto dot master so here it all and vi slash etc slash auto dot master and here an example is already given which is for slash misc directory and the configuration file for that slash misc directory is used is slash etc slash auto dot misc so you know we can uh, we can comment it out and use the same dot misc configuration file because you know reusing the same file will help us by not we don't need to create a new file for ourselves so it is less error prone so it is a safe way 
to reuse the already existing already created file because we don't have to make any typo okay. so so the name of the directory will be slash from server a so the directory will reside in slash or the root of the os so this is why we have to mention here uh, slash minus means the directory will be created at the root and the configuration now the configuration file is etc slash auto dot mess okay that's it this is all we have to write so we have to write the root directory of the autofs uh you know autofs file uh, uh, our uh, mounted mounting directory and then we have to mention the name of the configuration file okay so this is the root directory of the directory that we will be creating which is from server A. Okay, nice then right page and now <coughs> let's the sorry auto dot mess this configuration file and here I have to add an additional line which is slash the name of the directory that the question asked us to create which is from server A and the <coughs> sorry configurations so fs type and nfs read write soft and INTR. So these are to make the whole things easier meaning it is a it, the, the type is NFS it will be read write allowed soft means don't hang it will be a softer approach <coughs> and int R is to make it much more safer okay and we have to make mention the the sharing uh, sh server name which is server IP address which is I don't know that IP address so it's okay. this one so this is the IP address of the NFS server and the directory is shared okay so our uh, work is pretty much done yes right and quick so this is what we did so this is pretty much what we did okay and so we have installed the nfs utils packages auto fs then we have edited the auto dot master which is the master or main concrete file of auto fs and we pointed the sub configuration file and we added the line at the end of the configuration file of the auto.mesk now let's enable the autofs uh, service so system ctl enable autofs now nice So our AWS server is up and running. So system CTL status NFS server. So NFS server is up and running. So let's see if our uh, uh, our file got mounted or not. Our directory, the directory from server A. So the directory is to be shared. And get file. So this file should be now accessed from server B as well. Okay. So do we have ls? So see, we already have the from server A directory present here, even though we haven't created the directory. Why? Well, because AutoFS automatically creates the necessary directories. Okay. So you just have to mention the name of the directory, and AutoFS will automatically create it for you so cd 
from server A and then ls so the file is present here so cat file so this is the name of the file so this is what the content of the file is so let's just see so we are you know we are accessing the file from server B which is mainly <coughs> at server A so let's change from server A and ch let's check if uh, you know server A server B gets the changed file okay so di or let's do one thing watch cat file okay so uh, with the watch command we will see if the file is changed or not so di file hey Hey there. Right. Hey there. So the shared file is accessed from server from uh, from server V, which is shared from server A. Okay. So yeah. So our NFS configuration is pretty much done. So let's go through the uh, steps again. So the steps were. So our question was, from server A, we have to uh, share the slash shared directory to server B's slash from server A directory, okay, with auto -refer. So at the server side, we pretty much did some simple things, which is just install the NFS utils packages, then give the firewall access properly, add service mount the RPC bind and NFS. You could have just uh, used curly braces like this one to give the permission all three all three services permissions together. But you know, I'm, I'm just omitted. I have just omitted this for the sake of simplicity. Okay, so you just reload the firewall configurations to apply the changes, and then you make the directory. You could have made the directory before. It's up to you. Okay, give proper permissions. Uh, configure the NFS server configuration file by editing the slash xc slash exports this file. So this is the name of the shared. This is the sharing directory. This is the address. Star means it will share to with everybody whoever wants to access. It will allow. But we have given proper uh, you know IP address. We could have just uh, uh you know you can give ip address or just type start to share it with everybody so the configuration parameters are redirect sync no root squash then enable the rpc bind and nfs server these two services will start check with also mount e so this is the step of the server server side steps the for the client the steps are just install NFS utils, install AutoFS, edit the configuration file of the AutoFS configuration file, which is slash slash auto.master, change the line like this, so the you know the root uh, directory and the configuration file, and edit that configuration file at the line at the bottom, which will mention the name of the directory. The, <clears throat> the options which is NFS, read write, soft, INTR and the address of the sharing NFS sharing server and the directory name of that NFS server then restart the AutoFS service it sums up the whole process so this is pretty, pretty simple you do it one or two times practice then it becomes very easy thank you everyone for sticking up with me up to this long if you find it informative then please comment and also uh, support me by suggesting uh, new topics um, and <coughs> goodbye for now